Oh, yes. Good evening. Welcome back to the channel. First stream, I reckon, in about a month or so. As you can see, my apartment, flat, house, whatever you want to call it, is getting ripped to shreds. But we're back and we got ripped to shreds today. Fulham free Tottenham nil. What an absolute disgrace. What an absolute disgrace. We're back. Streams are back. The channel is back. And we're, we're here to talk about it. Because that was a pile of absolute crap. How have we just lost 3-0 to Fulham? Like, I, I don't even know where to start. Just a disaster class. An absolute disaster class. From top to bottom. The attack had about as much chemistry. I I, I don't even know. Like, Dragusin was horrendous. You know, Son's first touch, nowhere near the level. Brennan Johnson today. Uh, like, I, I'm, I, I've... Uh, but if, you, if you're down there and you haven't already, please do drop a like on the stream. Over 100 people in here already. Our defending was absolutely embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing today. And I, I actually think, I'm not joking, I actually think 3-0 was kind. Because we we could have been three 0 down in the first thirty minutes, like so many mediocre performances, and it, this is Tottenham to a nutshell, to an absolute T. You know, last week beating Aston Villa four 0 and today getting banged three 0 by Fulham. And if Villa win tomorrow, yesterday's win, which let's be honest, the only thing we got to play for is top four. Yesterday's win is now irrelevant. Sorry, your last week's win is now irrelevant if if um if Villa win tomorrow. And let's be honest, the chances of Aston Villa beating the likes of the likes of West Ham is pretty high. I know both teams won in Europe, but I I, I don't know where to start. Generally, I don't. I mean, we'll start with the lineup. The lineup was practically the same one that played against Aston Villa. To be honest with you, you know, Vicario in goal, the back four picks itself. The double pivot picks itself. Madison in the 10 picks himself. Son up front. Johnson, it was the exact same team. But the performance, like the space in the middle of the park today, you generally could have put three or four houses in there. Passing was poor. First touches was poor. The substitutions today, like we're 3-0 down and we're bringing on Hoiberg. Like, why are we not? Why, why are we bringing on Richarlison in the 77th minute? Why are we bringing on Timo Werner when we're 3 0 down? You know, I, I, I've, we, 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 we generally couldn't live with, we generally could not live with, with Aston Villa today. We could not live with them. Absolutely insane. Insane. You know, and now we go into into the international break. It's gonna be a long two weeks. Like, I don't know what you guys think. I'll get through some comments in a second. Over nearly two hundred people in here already, which is absolutely insane. Romero, a Spurs man of the match. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think Dragusin was all over the place today. You know, for the first goal. He, he, let's be honest, he can't really do a lot. The first goal is a, is a fantastic cross. Probably could have had better marking. And, you know, we go 1-0 down. The second goal, look at Dragusin's positioning on the cross for the second goal. Like... Let me see if I can find a picture of it on Twitter. Like, 
Is there any picture on Twitter? Complete, we, we just completely undone what we did last week. I can't find a pit. But we, yeah, you're right. We, you're bang on. We were totally outplayed. Can Spurs finish above Arsenal? Is the chat this week, isn't, isn't it? You're having a laugh. We've got an absolutely no chance. Categorically, zero chance of finishing above Arsenal. We have just been battered by Fulham. Arsenal are 11 points clear. And as it stands, we're still two points off of Villa. If we won today, we would have been on the same games played as Aston Villa and one point ahead. Forget Arsenal. Forget Arsenal. That was an absolute embarrassment. We got cooked from minute one to minute 90. They were, that Rodrigo Meniz guy, we, 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 we couldn't live with him. You know, Paulina and Lukic did very well in the middle of the park. So, but Abisuma was an, was an absolute disgrace. Like, it was absolutely embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. I don't know why he took off the likes of Saar. You know, Saar was getting forward, winning the ball back. He took him off for Timo Werner. I thought Werner probably should have come on earlier. You know, we, we, we were 1-0 down at half time. I wanted to see substitutions at half time. Brendan Johnson today, I put my neck out on the line saying I got it wrong. I was wrong. I got it. I said I was flipping wrong about this guy. Today, two or three opportunities to put the ball in the back of the net. Two or three opportunities today to put the ball in the back of the net. Like, put my neck out on the line. I was like, Do you know what? I can see it. I can finally see what he's doing. He was taking on his man last week. He was running up players last week. And today, today was a complete, like, like what, I mean, it, it, it's mind-blowing. It's actually mind-blowing. Like, what are we doing here? 3 no down to flipping Fulham. Like, it's madness. After the second goal, you had to make changes. Stands there staring out. Like, we should have made changes at half-time. The performance in the first half was nowhere near the level. Was nowhere near the level, the performance in the first half. What we should have done at half time, right, was brought on Richarlison for either Kula or, or, or. Do you know what? I probably would have taken off Son. Son's first touch today. Like, Madison's probably injured as well. Madison's probably injured. Like,. I don't know. I don't know. Kulu should leave his club. Don't worry, fifth is... Look, it's not, it's not even about our league finish now. Well, yes, it is about our league finish, but the performance today... We, hadn't lost, we haven't lost to Fulham since 2010. Eight games unbeaten, and obviously they were in the championship against Fulham. Eight wins on the bounce against Fulham. And now we don't have a game... For 14 days. We don't have a game for two whole flipping weeks. And everyone said to me, oh, we don't need we don't need a creativity. We don't need, you know, we, we, we should be happy with the likes of James Madison in it. We need more creativity than Madison. He's in I guarantee you now it comes out tomorrow morning or Monday morning once he gets a scan. He will be injured for a couple of weeks, maybe, maybe three or four weeks. Like, we can't keep relying on James Madison. The amount of times he got hacked today. Like, we got, uh, uh, you know, we got flipping Lo Celso on the bench. Like, Lo Celso's not the guy. The midfield today was completely out of class by Pereira, Paulina, William, Iwobi. You know, m m we couldn't live with Meniz's movement in the box. He's, his movement tore us to shreds. And if Aston Villa win tomorrow, then that win last week, that fantastic win our best performance of the season. Like, how in the space of seven days do we go from our best performance of the season to getting banged, to getting outplayed, outworked, you know, much more energy from Fulham? A beat in the air, second to every ball, poor first touches. How do we go from beating Aston Villa 4-0 at their own backyard to losing to flipping Fulham and not just losing... Being absolutely out-fucking-played.
being outplayed from minute one to minute 90. We were absolutely outplayed. And uh, look, Fulham deserved it. They were spectacular today. To a man from the back, Leno making good saves. William had flipping... Uh, William got the better of... I can't remember if it was Udogi or Poro, whatever side he was on. He got the better of the fullback. You know, Muniz's movement. Dragusin's going to wake up tomorrow and have Muniz at the end of his flipping bed. Like, that is a disgrace. It's an absolute flipping disgrace. It's nothing short of an absolute disgrace. And we deserved to lose. We just got absolutely banged by Fulham. By Fulham. And no one can say we didn't deserve to lose that because that was nothing short of a disgrace. They overpowered us. Does that mean to say I accepted or intercepted to a passes and I must have the ball? I agree. Anna says, Bissouma was poor and has been for a while. Goes missing for large portions of the game. We've got to get a grip. Kulu seems to be scared of his right foot always when it's cut in. I agree. Stop banging the table, Henry. It's very annoying. I apologise. Fulham uh, built their team using Chelsea and Arsenal rejects. That's what I'm saying. We just got banged by Arsenal rejects. You guys don't have a bench. Uh, this was a horrible, horrible watch. I'm doing my laundry right now, and I enjoy much more than that. <laughs> like, yeah, big up Spurs, GCTV, smash the lights. I'm going to do a match review probably later. Like, an in-depth match review. This is just, like, raw. But I, I, I don't even know what positivity to take out of that game or any, like, Like, I don't even know what you can take out of that game. Like, what positives can you take out of that game? We started to fight when we were 2-0 down. We started to fight when we were 3-0 down. Son today, like, I, I, I don't know what you guys think. <sighs> uh... Let's just leave, leave this here for all Spurs fans who twerked last week. Really hits a cold wet fish. Yeah, I agree. Uh, positivity when the ref blew the whistle. Yeah, Son was what well, Son was toilet today. Not just Son, the whole team were toilet today. Like Fulham had more shots, had more shots on target, had more passes in the final third. Like we got absolutely outplayed by Wobi, Pereira, William, and Muniz. Outplayed, like out flipping played. That like toast under a bio today did very well. Calvin Bassey today did very well for Fulham. We got absolutely outplayed. Like my FPL is an absolute disaster. It's a disaster, my FPL. An absolute disaster. I've not even got, I've got six points. Regulon got sent off. I mean, it's just a joke. But that 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 team there outplayed us from from minute one. To, and, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, they missed a few sitters. We generally could have lost six nil today. But Son had a, Son has a Son has a half chance. You know, Madison rolls it into him. He opens his body up. He tries to guard it to the far post, but. And then how this team, this exact team last week went out and beat Aston Villa 4-0 and then, and then got spanked today. Like, the, if you was to look at yesterday's, sorry, if you was to look at last week's performance and look at today's performance, that midfield, the space between Saar, Bissouma and Madison in today's game, if you compared that to last week, it's night and day. We were literally out flipping played. Out played. Out played. Out flipping played. Like, I, I, I'm I, not going to lie. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know what you guys make of it. You know, Johnson, Kulu, Son today, the front three. 
no no one clicking, no one really making any decisions. Bad first touches, you know, Dragusin passes it out of play two or three times. Yudogi and Poro today just at, like out outworked. We are crying out for crying out for a defensive midfielder. Like crying out. The amount of times we got pepper today. And now I'm getting called a wannabe Rory Jennings. What on earth are you flipping chatting about? Simple question: If you get Champions League, do you trust your board to, to get quality? Well, when you look at the when you look at the transfer windows we've had under Daniel Levy since Ange come in, right? Every player that Ange has wanted, Tottenham have gone out and gone, gone out and got Lucas Bergvall, Dragusin, Timo Werner. Whether they're at the quality is a different question. But his targets, Brennan Johnson, Dragusin, everyone that he's wanted, Daniel Levy has gone out and got. The question is, when it comes to the summer, we cannot categorically go into the Champions League with that 11 right there. We will get torn to shreds if we don't bring in an out-and-out -out number six and an out and out goal scorers. We need a goal scorer. Desperately. Absolutely desperately. It's no coincidence. If you look through the whole of this season, right? If you look at the whole of this season, when Human Son does not have a good game, or Human Son is not involved in the game, Tottenham don't have a good game. If you look for every single game this season, Right, other than the games when Son has actually been out, right? We, we like we, we we have been absolutely like today. I'm sorry, but it's unacceptable to concede three goals away to Fulham. It is unacceptable, and, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. We probably should have lost, like I said, five or six nil. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. No, it, 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 it's the mentality of some of these players. I've been calling this out for I don't know how long. We are crying out for leaders. The problem is too many players believe the hype and not doing their job. I agree. Pedro Porro, the best, the best left back in the league. The guy's a right back for stars. Same old Spurs, inconsistent and have been for a long, long time. Yeah, but Mark, the problem is eventually, eventually Tottenham have to grow out of this. Like we, we went, the arrogance, the flipping arrogance from some of these players walking onto the pitch large and in charge after a few beers. It, we, we played the game like we have already won it. We went in with arrogance, chin up, chest out, Triple H settings. Large shoulders. We walked on to that pitch like we've already won the game. Like we have already won the flipping game. And we got outplayed. Outplayed. Outworked. Outfought. Second to every single ball. The arrogance. Like we, we, like we are not going to go to Craven Cottage and blow them away with that with that with that mentality like they beat arsenal a few weeks ago they battered west ham 5 0 a few weeks ago like yes we can beat them of course but it's the arrogance it's, the, it's mind blowing it's absolutely mind blowing Like, we're getting absolutely destroyed by Arsenal fans. Absolutely flipping destroyed by Arsenal fans. Imagine it is because of the ticket prices when they play Barcelona at home. It wouldn't surprise me. We are good early, but missed our chances. And what I also want to know is, why is it whenever we go, whenever we have a bad first half, all of a sudden we come out and have a massive second half?
James Madison's trending. Said it last week, and he's out of his depth. Being outplayed by Everton, Brentford, Wolves, Brighton, Bournemouth, and the list goes on. Tottenham have had a bit, a bit more individual quality to get over the line as a team. We don't have a clue. Someone just sent me that on Twitter. Why, like someone ban that Gonzo? Like, what are we doing here? Can someone ban Gonzo? <laughs> oh, now we don't have any Premier League football for Tottenham for the next 14 days. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Like, just put a yes or a no in the chat. Just put a yes or a no in the chat. Because I'd be, I, I, I want to see this. Because at the moment, we obviously know how reactionary, you know, we know how reactionary Tottenham are. But just put a yes or no. Do you truly believe, do you truly believe Ange will be successful at Tottenham? Just put a yes or a no. Do you believe Ange will be, because... So many of our games this season have been on a knife edge. Like, I'm talking, if you go through every single one of our games in the last 15 games, like, if you go through the last 15 games Tottenham have played, how many games have been on a knife edge? Like, let's go for it. Let's actually go back quickly and look at our last 15 games at Tottenham, right? Let's look at it. Well, we just got banged by Fulham, right? We we were we were very very good against against Palace and Villa, right? Wolves outplayed, right? Brighton a ninety fifth minute winner from Brendan Johnson. Everton we we can see the dagger at the end. Brentford had chances, should have beaten Manchester United, but we didn't. Conceded 24 shots at goal by Bournemouth. Brighton banged 4-2. Everton had chances and had a, a, two goals ruled out from VAR. Nottingham Forest, good performance. Newcastle, good performance. Banged by West Ham, Villa. City, good performance, although it was a draw. Lost to Wolves, lost to Chelsea. Crystal Palace, good performance. Fulham, and Luton, good performance. Liverpool, a 97th minute uh, own goal. Arsenal, good performance. Sheffield United, at two goals in the 98th and, what, 101st minute. Burnley, good performance. Bournemouth, good performance. Man United, good performance. How many of those games did I just go through that, I, that we literally either had a last-minute goal conceded or a last-minute goal scored? So many of our games are on a knife edge. Like, it's it's insane. We, we should not have lost to flipping Fulham. Like, what are we doing here? It's Fulham. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I generally don't know what to say. That was absolutely embarrassing. You don't know Big Ange Henry. Uh, he is great. Wins trophies wherever he goes. How many Arsenal fans are in here, by the way? Yeah, make sure you drop a like on the video. And if you haven't already, get over to the second channel, Henry Talks Football, and subscribe to that. If you would. It's right there. If you could go over and subscribe to that.
I don't know what to say. I'm going to do an in-depth match review because I want to. I want to talk about like, I'm, my head is hot at the moment. My head is hot, and I don't necessarily think in what I say now. People are going to get annoyed, but it is what it is. Uh, it's all Gunners. They have no friends. Arsenal lost two one to them, and Arsenal are a good team. Yeah, but Arsenal. Uh, that was a narrow victory from Fulham. We got outplayed. Outplayed. That is the difference. We got flipping outplayed. We didn't just lose. We got battered by Fulham. Fulham had the flipping audacity to say Tottenham get battered everywhere you go. Mate, you're fucking 12th. You are 12th. And you're saying, oh, Tottenham get battered everywhere they go. No, your place. You are 12th. Like, what are we doing here? It's a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. But we are just on this channel, by the way. We're 50 subscribers of 2,600. So if you are in the chat, please make sure you go over to the second channel and hit that subscribe button. It is pinned and it is on your screen right now. It's in the comments. Just go and subscribe to Henry Talks Football. And that would be absolutely fantastic if you could do that. So big up to everyone in the chat. 50 subs off the, off of uh, 2,600 on that. How many times have they sung that in the past? They haven't. They haven't sung it. Fulham just showed that if you work harder than Spurs, you have a chance. And that this is absolutely spot on. You are... Spot on. Absolutely spot on, John. Bang on the money. Like, bang on the money. Like, just put a yes or a no down, uh, down in the chat. Do you think Tottenham will finish above Aston Villa? Yes or no? Well, oh, I'm fuming. We're too inconsistent. And this is the thing. If you think back to like last year or the couple of the year before, we lost to Burnley 1-0 and then ended up beating Manchester City 3-2. Big up Mark Cook. Says big up Henry. Keep up the great work, mate. Yeah, big up to you. Uh, big up to you every time, Henry. Top guy, yeah. Big up, Oliver. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, can't wait to get picked out by the final for uh, Arsenal scans on Monday. I wouldn't worry about it, mate. I've had it my whole life. I'm pretty sure every Spurs fan in here has. I think I'm gonna get embarrassed in Europe. Who knows? A point to prove. Who have Aston Villa got in the next five games? Aston Villa. I've got West Ham, Wolves, Man City, Brentford. Mate, that is outrageous. Aston Villa have got Lil. Now they, they've got to move that fixture. They can't. Aston Villa have got Lil on the Thursday. And then less than 48 hours later, I've got to play Arsenal. Surely that game has got to be moved to the Sunday. Yeah, they've got conference and they're still above us. It's madness. We are heading uh, back a few years uh, when we win and lose and then win again and then lose. Yeah, don't. It's a joke. The second channel is pinned, guys. 357 people. If you could go over and subscribe to the second channel, that would be fantastic. Tottenham always manages to ruin uh, our Spurs fans' weekend. Yeah. Smash a like, folks. United are catching Spurs. Where are United? Who have Man United got in the next five games? Sheffield United, Brentford, Chelsea, Man United, Liverpool.
Yeah, it will get moved. You should do. Yeah, big up. Got a video coming out on the second channel um, about this game, Spurs Villa. Very, very soon. So make sure you check that out. These random terrible results this season reminds me of Villa's, or Villa's buyers and Tim Sherwood days. Uh, we have Sheffield, Burnley and Aston Villa. Any of the fans who are Ange out are not real fans. I don't know, man. I look at it two ways. I think, like... <sighs> so this... So the reason why I have two channels is Henry Wright TV is obviously all Spurs content. So everything about Spurs, transfers, anything to do with Tottenham is on here. But, like, obviously, I'm not just a Spurs fan. I'm a football fan as well. So I speak about Arsenal, Chelsea, City, Madrid, everything on that channel. The Euros. It just gives me, like... Because because obviously Tottenham only play one game a week, so there's not you can't cut. Like I don't want to just put. Um, I don't want to just put videos on here for the sake of it. So it kind of gives me something else to talk about. And that channel is doing absolutely insane. Like we launched, I launched it like not even a month ago, and now it's pushing two point six k. So. Yeah, big up to everyone who subscribed. I personally think Daniel Levy he needs to go. He does and mentally will change. You boys are in a rebuild, rebuild sitting in fifth. Stop thinking you deserve more. We've got the highest and most expensive season ticket in the country. We've got the best stadium in world football. Right. We just sold our tallies, man. Name another player in Europe that would sell Harry Kane. Like, I'm not trying to say le like if you're leaving or leaving out, but what do you mean stop thinking you deserve more? Every football fan is entitled to an opinion. And if you're, I've been to, what, six away games this year. I've done Forest away. I've done... I've done, I've done Forest away. I've done Wolves away. I've done countless home games. Like, how, how can you say stop thinking you deserve more? You're a football fan. You're an entitled to your own opinion. If you, if you are a paying customer, or you pay for Sky, or you pay for BT, or you live in Europe and you pay for the zone, or you live in America and you watch Fox News, or wherever it is you live, if you are paying for a subscription or paying to go to the, the game to watch your team, or if you if you're watching from Australia, it doesn't matter what what I'm trying to say is, if you are a fan, you're entitled to an opinion and saying we don't deserve more. We haven't won a trophy, Ted, in 16 goddamn years. What do you mean? Stop thinking you deserve more. West Ham, right? Two minutes down the road in Stratford, lifted the Conference League. Something we got slapped in and battered by COVID and didn't even get to finish our last game because they took it seriously. Yet most of our fan base, most of it are so selfish and entitled. We walked into today's game thinking we would blow Fulham away because we won last week at Aston Villa. We walked in, chest in, shoulders out, bicep flexing. Oh, we're going to go and batter Fulham. And we got absolutely spanked from minute one to minute 90. And genuinely, genuinely, 3-0, 3-0 is a, a blessing. They, they could have scored six or seven today. Stop thinking you deserve more. What about the fans? The, what about Bournemouth fans who trekked up to flipping Newcastle? 460 mile round trip. If they don't get a decent performance, they've got every single right to be cussing them, to be frying pelters at them. Like, what do you mean, stop thinking you deserve more? We've got the best stadium in world football. You know, we've got good players coming here at the academy. We've spent 200 million under Ange. And we've just been absolutely spanked by Fulham. And this isn't the first time we've been spanked. We got spanked 4 2 by flipping Brighton, 4 1 by Chelsea. 
you know? you got to take the rough for the smooth, but at the same time, you have to call the spade the spade and just say, today, we were shit and deserve to lose. Do you think Real Madrid would have taken that performance? Do you think Manchester City today would have taken that performance? Manchester City, if they lost 3-0 to Fulham, would be going absolutely insane. Throwing chairs around. Now, I don't even know what the Man City score was today. Let's have a look at their FA Cup game. I bet they won. I bet Man City won. Of course they did. 2-0 Bernardo Silva brace. 21 games unbeaten Manchester City are. Oh, but they've got 115 charges. Like, it's a joke. It's an absolute disgrace. It's a disgrace. Nothing more, nothing less. It is a disgrace. Like, okay, Lee Gunner. What are you, like, mate, what are you talking about? OTC trusting the progress. Now, what are you talking about? Mate, it's quarter past eight on a Saturday night. Like, seriously. Fulham had about 12 players on the field today. Yeah. No two own goals. Have they gone down as own goals, have they? I'm sorry, but that performance isn't like I'm sorry. That performance is a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. 40 subs now of 2,600 on the second channel. It is pinned upstairs. At least you got your buying shirt. Uh, big clubs transition off to losing players. Leave the, oh my God, we are doing well uh, for just losing Harry Kane. Leave that to West Ham fans. They lost Rice, Aston Villa, lost Greaves. Yeah, look at, look at flipping West Ham. Look at West Ham. West Ham are sitting seventh. Two positions below us. They're in the quarterfinals of the Europa League and they've just lost Declan Rice. West Ham are in, are in Europe. West Ham are in a European combat. West Ham are in Europe. That was just, oh, mate. It's just a joke. Come on, 41 subs of 2,600 on the second channel. 41 subs. If you are watching, it is pinned in the, the chat. Go up. Henry Talks Football. Go and subscribe to that channel. 41 subs of 2,600. Spurs will be in Europe next year. Yeah, that's great. That's great, Ted. That's fantastic, mate. What about this year? You better hope Arsenal don't win the league. <sighs> oh, listen, it, oh, mate. Harry Kane better turn up at the Emirates. Yeah, big up, Ruth. Hope you well. I wanted your Europa League. I think we'll get destroyed in the Champions League. You're right. You're absolutely spot on. Spot on, mate. Right, we're going to wrap up. I can't just... Oh, it's just... I'm going to bring out a match review to probably later today, early tomorrow. Make sure you get over to the second channel and hit that subscribe button. Mate, oh, actually, I missed the Super Chat. Keep up the great work, Henry. It's not easy being a Spurs fan at times. We will bounce back and we will finish above Aston Villa. 110%. Keep the faith. Big up, Paul. If you're still in here, I hope you're well. Three back-to-back quarterfinals for the Mighty Amers. Like, let that sink in. West Ham. Three back-to-back -back European quarterfinals. What are we doing? What are we flipping doing?
It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. I'm 38 subs away on the second channel. 2.6k. I'll see you all soon, people. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back later on tonight. I'm out.